Testing, testing, three, two, one, good day mates, Mingo here, and welcome to one episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Now I'm sitting here with my cuppa, and I'm about to enjoy this game, while also not to know about where it is, and exactly if it's any good. So, let's get into it, huh? Now, I have a started recording for a game here, because it's not... It's not exactly working, I want to try and get as much retail as possible, so I'm paused for the moment. But what game dev tackle is, is exactly what it says on the box. It's a simulator where we'll act as a game developer. And so yeah, I played this a year ago. And I think while I play the game, I did show some of the problems I have with this game. It's not that, it's not that, it's not, um, Realistic. It's just. It's just meant to be fun experience. It's just not. Just not very fun at the same time, because it's really a big bear. So I'm not starting recording now and into the game. So what's happened is that do a new computer, a new go the. So uh, right now I'm going to develop a new game and just pick a topic. I'm gonna go on racing, simulating racing, PC. I'm gonna say race because race is a great thing. It's a big issue, but yeah, 2D graphics. Because how can you make a nice game in in the touch based? So I start development, and this is where the game is kind of problematic at the same time. Because why is why is a is a why is a good game? It's just not very fun because a lot of the time, a lot of the time, they just seem back and then the game do its own thing. And it's um, kind of plays the enjoyment of the game. So, for example, all you'd ever do in this game is research new topics and mess with the scenarios a little bit. And that's pretty much it. There's no aspect to go on with testing, there's nothing else. I mean, later on in the game, do you get to. Um, do you get to um, do more things that hire more people and hire more people, people and research more topics and even develop to your own console but that's it basically this game is a bare bones experience and it's good value it's just not, it's not very fun the game to play in a non one so not some quickly place this um, development mm. okay a list now I just wait for the game to think king ha. okay so that's it oh do some oh do those things and just what and just what as a player games experience. It's really bare bones. It's I don't know I'm repeating myself at this point. So it's a good game at first, but um as the game progresses the fun fun factor kind of um disappears a little bit and then after it is um snow it's kind of snow kind of gets to know at the end so that's not really a game to what to play really really okay lord one more game i'm going to make one more game for you guys just make I don't know why. I'm a game developer. I should I should be able to create an industry standard. It's just 
I mean, you think that I'm like, to have to um keep keep watching your um cash, how much cash you have, and make sure you don't lose any money. Yeah. So what we do is develop a new game. We we play in superheroes. Adventure. Easy. Super. Yeah, let's just do the. So to see what I'm gonna here because um the game just. There's a game color farm, color farm, new system as you play more and more of it. It's because it's because you're not really doing much in the game. It's just sitting back and letting the game play itself. And um, we put dialogues up here because it's an adventure. Artificial intelligence in the red sun. All we're doing is um, making sure to allocate enough resources to run to run this aspect of the game. And and then even then it's just not much fun just sitting back and watching. All we can do is watch this old player play develop the game. And I mean it's not a fun game. That's it. It's fun at first. But at the end it's just not just not um long lasting so that's the only problem there is with this game and I think and I think that's just yes you are welcome it's, I know it's their first game it's their first game and they've done a great job it's just I hope I hope that going forward they've um, put a little bit put a little bit more effort in their future games because because the game just doesn't um hold up very well uh, after a long after a long session. And yeah, uh, this is not the type type of game you can just sit and watch, sit and play. It's it's more of a idle game, and that's not something to what pay for. At least not fifteen dollars for. So so I'm going to end this by saying it's all our right game. But it's just not worth paying and a bunch of money for and I just Oh screw you. It's only been eight minutes but thank you very much for watching this video. If you, if you like what you see, please leave a like, comment down below and be so so excuse me. Leave a like, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe to, the, to my channel if you like what you see. So, uh, if you subscribe, I'll have a coffee on you guys. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.